All right, let's get it going. I think we've got a good enough crowd here. Actually, some from, from Texas, which is impressive. Uh, thanks for showing up, guys. I know you're, you're having a tough time over there right now. Um, so we'll just get into it today. This is part three of our multi-channel outreach theme for the month. Um, we really do like the, the theme format. We're going to continue with that. We've been getting great feedback. So again, at the end of this, you will get a request for feedback. If you have any ideas for themes, anything that you really want to focus on, um, just let us know and we'll try to tailor our monthly themes around that. Um, today, we're going to be covering tools, right? So we started off with the overview of what we're getting into. Last week, we went through some specific playbook samples. Um, and today we're just going to run through some of the tools that we really like. So it'll be kind of loose. Uh, I think you should be able to, to get some value out of it. We've got some giveaway codes and um, you know some of the some of the, all the tools that we are going to run through. We use ourselves. We've used in the past. So if we have a giveaway code, um, we might get some compensation on the back end, not from you, but from the provider. But you'll have a discount or um, a deal that you wouldn't otherwise have on, on the tool that we run through. Some of these will have you know, deals, some of them, no, we just use them all the time and love them. So we'll, we'll share that with you. And then next week, we'll dig into the tips and tactics for using all these tools um, combined with the, the type of playbook examples we gave last week, just to close it out. So um, hopefully you do walk away this month with um, some real value if you've been attending each week and, um, ready to implement some, some multi-channel outreach campaigns on your own. So who am I? Why should you care? Um, run through this slide pretty quickly every week. I run BizNexus. That's our platform for intermediary back deal flow. Um, and if you're looking to acquire a business or if you're an intermediary and you're looking to get connected with buyers or sellers, that's our platform um, for matching. So if you're not on that, it's, it's free to hop on. Um, we have paid upgrades, but you can absolutely participate in that platform for free. And then we also run BN Digital, and that is our digital agency focused exclusively on off-market deal origination. Um, that's everything that we cover in these lunch and learns on a weekly basis, really the tactics, um, what we see working, what we see not working. We cover um, the mistakes that are happening in the industry um, week in, week out. But that is essentially what we're focused on with these lunch and learns is really off-market deal origination, um, B2B lead generation. And we do that through a process called social selling. The whole point of this is to build up a valuable network of your primary prospects. So if you're an intermediary, for example, and you're focused on, you know, we've been using the HVAC example this month. Let's stick with that today. Um, if you're focused on an HVAC niche, you want to not only go after the HVAC owners, the business owners who might be in a position to sell or at least start thinking about it. You also want to go after the niche consultants who can put you in touch with those end prospects on an ongoing basis, right? The financial advisors, accountants, lawyers, HVAC service providers, B2B service providers, vendors, anybody who can put you in touch with that um, end prospect. And we see, especially with intermediaries, we see that strategy working really well locally. Um, a lot of intermediaries who will just depend on their referral network after they've been in the game for a while, but they don't systematically apply that. They're not focused on building up their referral networks. And that's a, a big mistake um, that most people are missing. So yes, business owners are the most valuable leads um, that you can go after, but the referral network can be um, an ongoing faucet for that, um, you know, that stream of, of uh, primary prospects on an ongoing basis. And that really winds up counting more um, than any proprietary deal origination strategy for business owners that you'll have over time, right? If you can ramp up that referral network, it's going to continue to pay dividends and continue to snowball. So the five stages that we go through, I'm going to skip this today because we want to get right into it with the tools, make sure that this is valuable for you in a short amount of time. And we've got a few tools to cover, but just look at this slide and know that we look at this as, as a long game that leads to the end result, which is the proverbial cup of coffee, right? Getting the face-to-face -face meeting, getting the sit down, getting the Zoom meeting in this type of environment, just getting that engagement with a prospect that you've been developing and nurturing online. And then you're finally transitioning that relationship from online into a real world engagement, hopefully. Um, updates, we'll kind of skip through this. Just know that everything that we cover 
with multi-channel outreach. We have our own program for that. Um, if you're curious, just schedule a meeting for us. We can give you a, a consult, let you know what that looks like if your territory or niche is actually available. And then the businesses platform, we've been cranking away on a, on a huge update that is happening this month. And um, I'll just let you know when, when we do it. Biznexus.com and bn.digital. That's how you get to us. If you have any questions, a little chat bot right in the corner of the screen. You can submit questions, ask for these tools, resources. Um, if you need follow-up that will, you know, the ones that we'll cover today. Um, but let's just get into it. So why are we doing multi-channel outreach again this month, right? Um, first, because it's so effective. And second, because so few intermediaries are actually doing this in a coordinated fashion. So when you talk about low hanging fruit, um, this is definitely it. When, when we have prospects coming in to meet with us uh, for a first meeting, they're, they're rarely actually coordinating their outreach across channels. Um, they're, they're typically using random vendors for sporadic marketing efforts, um, which, which is a mistake. It can cause brand damage and you're not, um, you're not thinking deal origination as a long game, right? You're not coordinating your processes. So that's why we are covering that this month. It also dramatically expands your reach. Um, and in, in this industry, specifically in deal origination in the industry of business acquisition and sale, you really don't know what channel your prospects are going to prefer, right? So maybe they'll have a LinkedIn company and you can identify them that way, but maybe they're not spending any time on LinkedIn at all. So you want to hit them on a different channel where they're actually spending time. That is um, why multi-channel outreach can, can cover your basis in terms of where your prospects actually spend their time, where you're going to reach them, where you're going to get in front of their eyeballs. And again, that's why we preach starting with data so that you can start with the information that you'll need to touch John Doe prospect across all channels, right? All social, email, snail mail, phone, et cetera. So starting with data, that's the first step of the multi-channel outreach. And we'll get into some tools that will help you do that um, today. So hopping into the tools, right? It's 110 now. Um, let's just say in the next 20 minutes, I will, I will shut up and answer any questions if you have any. Um, but I'm just going to go through the tools. And it, this, this piece is going to be casual. I'm just going to speak frankly about what I like, what I don't like, what we've used them for, what we've seen our, our clients um, use these tools for. Um, starting with data. Vala Norbert, we really like these guys. They, um, I mean, this is a tool for, I mean, it's for prospecting, but we really like, what we really like is the data enrichment on this tool. Um, if you pop in, if you use the code BizNexus25, we actually don't get anything out of that. That is, that's all you, you'll get 25% 25, 25 off. Um, if, you know, on login, you're using that code BizNexus25. And um, it's a great tool for data enrichment, right? So if you're logged in, um, we have, this is not our active account, but you have um, a clear list for your, your contacts and you can verify emails. So whether it's one or a massive list, you can verify your emails. They have tons of integrations. So in terms of what tools you're, you're on, um, it's gonna play nicely with those other tools. And the, the real money feature for Voila Norbert is data enrichment. So when I talk about starting with an email and making sure that you have you know, the physical address, the phone, the LinkedIn, this is a tool definitely worth checking out. Um, most people in this industry are not prospecting by domain, but if you are prospecting by domain, it's a very, very powerful tool for that. Um, it will call up any emails associated with the domain. It will verify the addresses. Um, so give it a shot. You get 50 credits for free um, to play around with that. And then if you want to become a paid subscriber, you can use BizNexus 25 and you'll get 25% off um, on an ongoing basis. So data enrichment, um, that's, that's where we're starting with this. Once we do data enrichment, we always really want to prioritize data verification. So even though a tool like Walla Norbert has data verification, for us, we're always verifying twice. <clears throat> Um, we really just don't want to mess around with, with data accuracy. So um, we are, we're doing everything twice, right? Voila Norbert is great, but if you can verify with two or three tools, if you have the time and the, the resources to do that, I recommend it. That's what we do. 
and it winds up really paying dividends once you start actually um, running multi-channel outreach campaigns. So data tool number two, what we really like is this tool called Bouncer. And first off, it's dirt cheap, right? So if you're talking about volume, um, this is this is what you're you're paying for. So 1,000, 9,000 emails, there you go, right? All the way up to million. So this is designed for volume, but is very effective with screening out bounces. So why do you do this? Um, if you're using your own domain, you don't want to send out an email that's going to put your own domain at risk, that's going to put the SEO efforts that you've been paying for at risk, that's going to red flag you with Google or Microsoft or <clears throat> any of these larger companies that are, that are looking for um, bounces, right? So you wanna make sure that any email you're gonna send is good to go before you actually send it. And this is a tool that will help you accomplish that. Um, so we've tested a ton of these things and this is probably our favorite at the moment um, you know, for, for pure bounce checking and, and data verification. Um, so if you're using a CRM, for example, and you're uploading a, a ton of contacts into a CRM, um, always a good idea to use a tool like this before you, you actually switch over to a new CRM. Um, and if you're, you know, certainly if you're out there buying lists, which we don't recommend, but if you're out there doing anything like that, you need to check the quality of your list, um, not just from a data enrichment standpoint, but from a quality standpoint, right? And it's not just the bounces, it's not just the bad emails, it's also what, what we call catch, catch all emails. So if there's an email that's designed to go out to anybody with, with the, the domain email, or if it's an info at or a team at email, um, you don't wanna send to those. If, if you have those in your campaign, if you have those in your list, you wanna pull them out, you wanna get rid of them, um, this tool will, will help you do that. Now moving into emailing, um, Mailshake's a great one, right? It's actually owned by one of the founders of Walla Norbert, um, or one of the founders of Mailshake, I'm sorry, owns Walla Norbert. And um, same code will work for us. So again, we don't get anything out of this one, but if you want 25% off on Mailshake, just when they prompt you for the credit card, you put in BizNexus 25, you will get 25% off on that. And Mailshake, um, they have great UI. They just updated their UI, the uh, user interface. For, for the tool. So it's very, it's very usable. Um, and what I really like about this tool is the templates. So they have I think thousands of templates that you can pull from. So if you're new to building email drips and you want some inspiration, this is a great place to start with their templates. But again, deal origination, business acquisition and sale, it's completely different than you know, typical sales email. So just be careful, um, you know, stay with these lunch and learns, get, get strategies, get some templates that actually work in, in this industry because you don't wanna get out there and start you know, pushing salesy emails on business owners who don't know who you are. Um, you, know, you, you don't wanna go for a close in this, in this industry, in my opinion, with a, a business owner who um, doesn't know you, who doesn't know what you do, who doesn't know anything about your social proof, whether you're good at what you do. If you have not established yourself as a qualified authority in the industry of business acquisition and sale, um, you should not be pushing for any sort of close. It's not, you know, you're not selling a product. So most of the templates are gonna be designed for that, but it will show you processes <clears throat> that can inspire you to build your own um, drip. So very easy to get onboarded with this. Give it a shot, um, you get a free trial period. And then after that, if you wanna continue, you get 25% off just by, by referencing us. Now, the second tool, which we also use um, on an ongoing basis, we love this one, uh, is Woodpecker. And this one, we actually do have our own link. Um, so we are a, a dedicated partner with, with this company. Um, forget about the code, that shouldn't be on the slide, that will not work. If you want to use the um, BizNexus link, I will, well, you'll, you'll get this deck after the fact. We'll have someone from our staff send the deck with the, the link. So we'll make sure you have this. But um, woodpecker.co forward slash pp forward slash BizNexus, that's gonna give you, I think like 500 free 
um, outreach emails, and it's going to give you um, our our customer service prioritization. So you get real time customer service. Um, you'll get I think a one on one coaching with with a team who helps manage our account, and um, then you get extra data and an extended trial. So it's it's worth checking out. Woodpecker, um, if we're going in there, let's just check this out. So Woodpecker is a tool that, first of all, they're these are developers, right? So Mailshake, they're great with dev, everything, but um, their founders come from a sales background. So you're going to have very easy to use UI. You're going to have great sales templates. Woodpecker, um, dev background. So you're going to have a lot of technical features um, that might not be available with Mailshake, but it might be a little less intuitive. There might be a steeper, steeper learning curve. But um, it is it is very easy. So if um, let's go here, maybe we can just put together kind of a sample. What I really like about Woodpecker is the ability to send to unopens easily. So sticking with an HVAC, let's just say um, I don't know if we're gonna start right. We'll say HVAC and let's say it's one nineteen. So I'm gonna try to do this in just a couple minutes just to show you how how the tool works. So let's say HVAC owners, right? I would connect an email. This is a dummy account, so we don't have a connected email. Um, it allows for A-B testing. So what that is, if you want to have, um, you know, hoping to help and first name, right? So if I'm approaching John Doe, Right, ideally with my data list that I put in, I have first name, last name, all the data that we talk about week in, week out. So you personalize the title. And then you know, maybe you could say, um, came across your profile on LinkedIn, blah, blah. I work with HVAC companies, HVAC, Companies are very popular right now. Obviously, this is horrible copy, right? But you'll get the gist, right? So how did I, why is this relevant? How did I find you? What do I do? I work with HVAC companies. You know, why does that matter? Because everyone is trying to buy an HVAC company and valuations are, are insane right now. Um, is this something I can help you with? You know, and then add them and then maybe a little link out to an article that I wrote about HVAC company, something like that. Now, if I want to A-B test this, I can do that very easily, right? So I can just have this, maybe change the title, say, you know, HVAC inquiry. If I just want to test the title, then I can keep this horrible copy that I just put in here. And that's my first email. And Woodpecker will automatically split the emails that are sent between A and B, and you'll have the statistics on which one does better. So it's really easy to play with from an optimization standpoint. And when you run campaigns, it's, you will learn very quickly what's working. Right? A few months on this program, you'll, you'll get much, much better with your outreach if you're focused on, on actually using these tools. Now, adding conditions, let's say this person has just, they've opened an email. Right? So you can say they clicked on a link in the email or if they have a snippet, but let's just say they've opened an email once, one time. So if they've opened this email one time, then I can send them you know, email number two. Right? So maybe I don't have a subject because I want it to be a reply. And I'll say, you know, hey, checking in and circling back. Right? For time reasons, I'm not going to make this copy any better than that, but this will be the follow-up. That's if they opened this email. Now, if they didn't open the email, you can very easily take the same email that you sent on the first email, go to the no path, put this in, and put in a new title. Because you know that John Doe has not seen this first email. They haven't seen your statement of value proposition. They haven't seen that you work with HVAC companies, right? Um, so you can, maybe they've seen the title, but they didn't open it. So you switch the title and then you send the, uh, the body of, of the email. 
And you continue to add chains like that, right? In terms of logic paths, Woodpecker is very powerful. And then you run the campaign and you'll get very detailed reports. Um, so this is a, a really great tool um, that we use on an ongoing basis. The other ones are, are great as well, but Woodpecker is one that we keep circling back to. It's just, it's very effective. Um, you can manage your inbox, multiple campaigns at the same time. You can manage your prospects. Um, the tool does very well with data integrations. So again, in terms of the tools that you're using, Woodpecker probably can, can play nicely with those. So great email tool to, that we like. Um, <clears throat> social posting, for those of you who have not heard of Buffer, I'm just covering this because it's kind of an intro, right? So Buffer is um, it's for scheduling your posting, right? And let's just go back there. So if I'm going to Buffer, if I want to set up social posts for the next week, for the next month, what have you, this allows me to do that. They have a free plan, which will allow you to connect three social channels. So LinkedIn, Twitter, Facebook, and you can have 10 scheduled posts um, for free, right? And that, that means you can, your next 10 posts, you can schedule for free. So you'll have to keep re-upping that but it's very easy to do that and I'll, I'll show you how. Here's a, here's a trick. So if I'm logged in to Buffer, this is what a Buffer pipeline looks like where you can schedule your times for each channel, for Facebook, for Twitter, for um, LinkedIn, whatever your schedule is. So if you just want one post going out each day on LinkedIn or maybe just two posts a week on LinkedIn, you can set that up. And then if you want three posts a day on Twitter, you can set that up and that's just your default pipeline. Each pipeline will look, you know, it will look. So here we have four slots um, each day for Twitter, but you know, LinkedIn, we're not doing much with Buffer um, these days. We have our own tool, but you would have two slots for LinkedIn. We have four for Twitter, et cetera, et cetera. Now to find content, um, it's obviously a little self-promotion here, but we we offer you guys content every day. We're adding content on BizNexus in the buckets of business valuation, buying a business, selling a business, build for an exit, and then COVID-related news as, or, or COVID news as it relates to M&A, which will be killing soon because everybody's sick of, of COVID-related news. Um, so we're going to be pulling that one out. We'll just have business valuation, business acquisition, business sale, and business valuation. Those are going to be the buckets that we're um, re-upping every day. And so if you have a Buffer account and you sign up for a free account, I recommend that you also add the Buffer extension. So if you're using Chrome, here's how you do that. It will allow you to, um, let's see. It allows you to very easily share articles in real time to Buffer. So if you go to the Chrome store and you search Buffer, you're going to see this. Right? And I already have the extension installed, so it says remove Chrome, but you're going to see a prompt to add to Chrome. Once you add to Chrome, you're going to have a little icon like this, and I'm going to show you how this works. Um, makes it very easy. So let's say you're on BizNexus or anywhere on the internet, but with us, obviously, we have a, a focused pool of content that you can pull from. And let's say you like this sale leasebacks during COVID and beyond. So you click on this, looks like a good article to share to your network. I'm just gonna click on the extension and there you go. So I'm going to choose um, whichever account. So Twitter, LinkedIn, and let's say Facebook. And um, this is what it's gonna look like. So I'll pick a picture, Facebook, you know, sale these facts info exclamation point let's not do that and our company linkedin page right so i'm not going to make any comment here but i'm just going to add this to the queue i also had the option if i click that drop down just to share that instantly um, but by adding to the queue i can very quickly go in to BizNexus load up my queue. So if I have a free plan with Buffer, I know that I have 10 slots. I can schedule the next 10 slots. I can just pick 10 articles from BizNexus, load them up into Buffer through the extension. Bam, forget about it. 
So you can do that, you know, once a week, go in, load it up. And that helps with your multi-channel outreach. If you have people that you're pulling into LinkedIn, as you should be with a multi-channel campaign, this helps you automate the entire process of posting in a manner that helps to establish you as a qualified authority in the area of business acquisition and sales. That's, that's the point here. That's pulling it back together. If we have the outreach and then the nurturing, if posting is part of your nurturing, this is the way to automate that. So that with Buffer, you can very easily schedule your next 10 posts, getting on BizNexus or anywhere else on the internet um, and sharing the articles that help establish you as a qualified authority. That's part of the nurturing program, nurturing process that we preach day in, day out. Um, now we're, we're coming up on the end here, so I'm not going to dive too deeply into this, but, um, I'd be remiss if I didn't mention the fact that we have our own tool for, for doing all of this, right? So our marketing our nurturing automation software, we have, um, everything that we're going through, we pull this all together. So we have the analytics, we have the sales automation, we have the marketing automation, we have the social posting, the social listening that comes as part of our program um, if you're a client of ours and where we're running a nurturing campaign for you. So that's the only plug I'll put in there. Um, hopefully this is helpful, guys. We'll, we'll send out the deck with the links that we mentioned. I'll make sure that my team um, has the links attached in the email that we send to you with the discount codes and the unique codes to get the, the uh, extra outreach and the extra um, email quotas. And then next week, we'll jump through, um, we'll, we'll close it out with the tips and tactics, right? So we're going to take the tools that we've just gone through. We're going to take the playbooks, we're going to tie them together and just give you a couple very clear run-throughs of multi-channel outreach campaigns that you can take with you on your way um, into, into the next month. So that's it, guys. We've gone a little bit over, um, but if you have any questions, um, give those to us between now and next week. We'll answer them next week for you. And if you have any feedback, again, we're trying to prioritize what we're going to do for next month. We've got a short list, um, but we, we definitely want feedback. So if you have something that you want us to cover, just let us know and we'll do that. So thanks guys. And we'll see you next week.